vlogsember how are you guys doing today i think this is what day 12 the last day of the giveaways i'm so excited because in a few days in a couple of days i'm going to be choosing all the winners so i'm very very excited um before we start what i really wanted to show you today um i just took a shower and it's one of the best feelings in the world <laughs> to take a shower one bath wash my hair i'm gonna towel dry like i usually do do my hair routine that i do every week when i wash my hair and what i wanted to do at first i want to do a couple of things in this today and the first thing i want to do is clean some of my brushes it's not like my whole collection um I, I do it by batches by parts because otherwise i won't have a clean brush to use and it's very tiring like for me it's exhausting <laughs> to do the brushes because it's just tired it just tires me i don't know why um the fact that i like bend over like cleaning and all that the brushes on the sink and then i have to lay it dry and i don't have a lot of space i do it on the my little kitchen table so <laughs> i cannot do all my brushes at the same time because i don't have space but i'm gonna do that now but before we do that let me take you real quick i know i showed it yesterday but i have to show you guys again if you watched my yesterday's vlog you saw i showed my error garden and it's already sprouting but it's just been one day and they've grown so much let me show you look look how big I need to get closer this is my little tomatoes or what's going to be my tomatoes look at this one already sprouted out and this is my salad greens once the the leaves hit the the lid then i can remove them look how much they've grown it's only been one day i lit up a candle this is from jizu they smell like my shampoo and conditioner it smells so good in here so yeah i wanted to show you guys that because it just fascinates me how how fast they grow so i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of my brushes like i said and we're gonna go on to the next step of decluttering since i'm speaking about brushes i probably declutter just a couple i don't have that many brushes that i want to get rid of because i love them all i'm only gonna get rid of the ones that i never reach out to or i don't think i have any that do not work at all i mean they're all good but it's just some that i don't reach out to and I'd rather give it to somebody else that maybe doesn't have a big collection or any collection or just need extra brushes in their life so i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna set up my tripod and i'm gonna start cleaning because i have a few and then we're gonna go into decluttering um i'm still after the brushes maybe i'll do the mascaras because the lipsticks is gonna take a long time it's two drawers so I'm um, probably gonna do my mascaras next. All right, so let's start cleaning. So I have to put the tripod inside the sink because I did not have enough space on the counter for the legs of the tripod. So I have to do it in here. I'll just wash the tips of the legs later, no problem. I usually use this to clean my brushes. This is from like in between uses. This is from Cinema Secrets, the makeup brush cleaner. Um, it cleans it this way. I'm sorry. It cleans it really quickly, and it smells really really good. But I'm going to do a deeper cleanse. So I'm going to be using brush soap, which I have here. This one. This is what I'll be using because it's like a deeper cleanse. So the brushes that I'm going to clean and it has the paste, you know, the little the wax. And also has this thing so you can rub the sponges. So I'm going to put it here. And the brushes that I'm going to clean today is my foundation brush. This is like the, my main one. And then I have another one that is a mini. I need to clean both. And my the jumbo base, which I use a lot for my brushes. And the Niji Pro for the bronzers is the one that I, I usually use. And then I have some concealer brushes and some eyeshadow brushes. So let's start already. I don't want the water to seep into here. So... I try to stay on the on the hairs only. Very important. Otherwise, like the glue that keeps the hairs together will start ungluing and then you'll start losing bristles. So I turn on the water. I use warm water, like room temperature. So very small, very slow. And I am going to wet the little soap thing and the brush a little bit of the tip. And then I'm going to go like this rub it a few times and you'll see the water I will rub it here and you see the water will get all dirty this was not that dirty this brush but I do want to clean it because I use it a lot 
and you squeeze out the the water and you're gonna keep on doing this until the water comes out clear and you can also pick it up with your hand probably not gonna do like the whole video show the other brushes in this just one video because it might be a little bit boring for you guys but I'm gonna show you just like some other brushes so you see how how beautiful this product cleans the brushes This is not the fastest way. The fastest way will be with the product I showed you before, the brush cleaner that I showed you before. But that's not for deep cleanses. It's just like that's more for in between makeup looks. So I like to put like the water up here, so it's not gonna go right into the stem. It's just gonna stay in the hairs. So the water, it's already coming out clear. Because this is the color of the brush. Like, it's not dirty. It's the color of the brush. And the water is coming out clear. So. And then I get a clean towel and rub the excess and close the water here. See, it's, it's coming out a little bit dirty. So, I'm going to go back and do it again. Because the water was coming out clear, at least to me. But obviously, it's not clean yet. So, I'm going to go back. And do it one more time. Let me know in the comments, like, what do you guys use to clean your brushes? Did you just use, like, shampoo? Some people use, like, baby shampoo or shampoo. Um, do you use, like, another brush cleaner? There's another one that I have somewhere, um, another soap, let me show you, from, this is from Refer, that's also really nice, but I don't use it as often, I use more the Cinema Secrets one, but it's also really nice, I just wanted to show you guys. I think we got it now. Mm, there's still like a little bit left. That's the thing with synthetic brushes. Synthetic brushes absorb so much product. But I'm doing it softly. Pressing it in softly because um, I do care for my brushes. So I don't want them to like ruin, get ruined. Okay, let's see. Squeeze out, squeeze, squeeze out the water. Okay, much better. Just dry it really well and I'm going to put it aside so I could lay it down to dry on top of my table. This is now a natural hair bristles and so I want to show you if how it works with how uh, this soap works with natural bristles. I don't know why I'm so short of breath. I guess every time I take a shower my, the water is not that hot. It's warm, but every time I take a shower, I come out out of breath. I guess it's the steam. Okay, so I rubbed it in a lot. It has more lather when I when it, with uh, natural bristles. Mm, look how much stuff comes out. one more time these bristles are so soft it's like washing my hair like it's really soft so are so are the ones from Ricky BK Beauty they're really really soft mm -hmm. You see how like these brushes don't absorb as much product as synthetic brushes. Much easier. So now when it dries, it's gonna go back to its its natural 
shape. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of these. It's out of camera because it's gonna be too long and too boring for you guys. And let me go back to to myself. So I'm gonna finish off those brushes and I'm going to go on into my bedroom so we could do some decluttering. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, hi. Um, so tired. I already cleaned the brushes. Um, it's not that I just woke up. I've been I've been doing things all day, but I'm tired. Um, anyways. I'm gonna flip around the camera just to show you how my brushes look right now. I'm gonna switch to my main camera so I could do the decluttering other brushes sitting down. I think it's gonna be easier because I have nowhere to put the tripod of my vlog camera. At least not in a good um, angle for you guys. So let me switch around and show you guys what it looks like now. It's still kind of messy but these are my um sunscreen some some of my sun, sunscreen my facial sprays and these are my perfumes which i have to clean it up a little like make it a little bit prettier and I, I need something bigger to hold my perfumes i have some brushes back here and this is my my um lip pencils my eye pencils my brow stuff um some extra stuff i have these are my lip glosses and this is my mascara and then i have my brushes all these are my brushes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my main camera and go by sections and see what I'm going to keep or not keep. Alright, so here I am. I'm going to get some water. I'm really thirsty. There's another product that I keep on my vanity. I'm going to show you from Cinema Secrets the makeup sanitizing spray. Sometimes I spray them, even if I'm, I'm not using them, but they're just on my vanity. Um, I spray a little bit to sanitize the brushes. And Cinema Secrets also has a like a travel size uh, brush cleaner. So I always I like to keep that too. By the way, Cinema Secrets, one of I'm going to gift to 12 of you I'm gonna be gifting a travel size of the brush cleaner so it's a really really amazing product I love it all right just some little um, little notes little comments from my foundation and concealer and tinted moisturizer drawer this one slipped to the back this is from Chantecai I love this tinted moisturizer I'm so sad because I have to get rid of it because the expiration was expiration was May 22nd it fell to the back of my drawers to the backpack and I hadn't seen it no wonder I couldn't find it but um I don't know if I have a backup otherwise I have to get a backup because it's a really good tinted moisture or not tinted it's a what is just skin tinted moisturizer but it's a very light tinted moisturizer I have to get a backup I have to get a new one that one expired okay so let's talk about the brushes where I had the dirty brushes is this cup uh, this is where I put in brushes as they get dirty so oh another uh, product that expired was the biosans biosans sunscreen it's gonna expire this month so i have to use it up and i had a backup that i forgot i had and it expires on january 2023 so i have to use these up whatever's left of the month and next month okay Let's go back to what we were talking about. I'm going like all over the place today. <laughs> I'm getting too comfortable with you guys. Like I'm, I feel like I'm just sitting here and just rambling, talking about different things, which is nice, I guess, because it means that I feel comfortable with you guys and and see you all as my friends. Okay, let's go. Let's start from the front because I have. Maybe should I start from the back? I'm gonna start from the back. I'm gonna show you guys. This is one of my first brush purchases back when I was in my. 20s we don't need the light right now i'm not gonna put on makeup when i was in my 20s i didn't think that brushes were important i would always use a sponge for my foundation all that and maybe like a couple of brushes for my eyeshadows or the little brushes that would come with a the little with a with the packaging um you know those little little ones that i get rid of i give them away i have one here like these little ones i used to wear those and i was fine you know i survived but as I got older and I started watching more YouTube videos and got to learn more and mature more and grow more and all that, I realized that I was doing it wrong. So I started buying brushes. And one of the first, at least the ones that I can remember, 
one of the first brushes I got that I'm, I still have because I know I got the It Cosmetics foundation brush, but I got rid of that one a while ago. So one of the first like luxury make uh, makeup artist brushes I got were from Scott Barnes, which are these. And I thought of getting rid of them. I even thought about it today. But you know, these brushes are really good. I don't hear them being talked about. But I think they're really good. They're natural bristles. I think they were squirrel or some of them are squirrel or something. I'm not 100% sure. But they're, they're really good. Like this, this is the, I have to clean them because I haven't used them in such a while. They're like dusty. This is the, for the, for the powders. And, and then it's so beautiful, like the stem and they're so like long. You know, they're really, really pretty. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even talked about and I'm not going to get rid of them because they are nice and they were you know, I spent money on them. And I bought the whole set. This is for bronzers. It has like a really good angle. So just go like that. And then we have for highlighter or blush. Really pretty. And then we have this one. Oh, wait. No, this is for... Okay, let me go back. I got confused. This is for highlighter, I believe because this is the one for bronzer it has like that fan shaped and this is for foundation and then these are for the eyes there's like a mini one of the highlighter one and a mini of the bronzer one but this is I like this for like the crease and then this one's good for like highlighter too I like them and I I really don't reach out to them but at the same time I don't want to get rid of them because they are really pretty and they were, you know, an investment back in when I bought them. That was even before I had my channel. So, um, I want to start using them more because I feel kind of bad with myself that I have these really beautiful brushes and I, I don't use, and I don't hear them being talked about. Alright, the next, uh, in that same holder, I have these three. This is from Rose, Rose Beauty. It's a duo which is like a, I don't know what this is for, but it has on the other end. I'm not a fan of these because once you put them in, wherever you put them in, you're going to squish them. Yeah, they're multifaceted. They're, they're good for traveling, I guess, because you have two in one, but it's kind of big for traveling. Might as well just take a travel set from BK Beauty or something. I don't know. Um, I also have the, I have another one from Rose Ink that I just saw this morning. Oh, here it is. It's a foundation, a foundation brush. So I have both of these. I'm going to keep them for now because they're really good. They're good. It's just that I don't like the way because either way that you put it in, you're going to squeeze. You're going to squish one, one side or the other. I got this. It was a gift from Anissa. The Pinnacle Foundation. Is it Anissa Beauty? Anissa Beauty? Something like that. Really pretty brush. It's really pretty. And it has like the triangle shape, which is really good for like those those small areas those really hard to get areas i really love this brush it's really pretty i'm not gonna get rid of it i'm not gonna get rid of a lot of brushes maybe two or three so i just want to show you the whole collection i got this in a i'm not sure where in a subscription box i know i didn't buy it this is from caitlin it's one of those like little brush brushes like i like this because it's so soft i don't use it honestly not that I don't want to use it, just I never reach to it, reach out to it. But I'm gonna put it aside with the, like Scott Barnes and the other ones, because these are really, it's really cute, and it does have like a holder. You could like stand it up wherever you want. Um, let me put my hairbrush. I put my hairbrush in that same. This, it's like a. I can't take it out now because if I take it out, it's gonna be a mission to put it back in. But it's like a what are those called like a carousel and I have it squeezed in right there I don't want to I don't want to move it and it has four compartments one is where I have my hand mirror my hairbrush and then the other one I have the Scott Barnes br br brushes and I and the other one I have one sponge and the the little thing from Tati Beauty the little sponge thing the little pillow and they'll just the four brushes that I just showed you I like to keep them by by um by brand so that's why I have like different holders and I think it's easier for me to um, store them because if I have just one big thing, it's going to be harder for me to store it. If I have like little containers, then I could squeeze them in, in little corners and stuff. I mean, it just makes sense to me. All right, let's start. This is my BK Beauty holder. 
on my brushes from BK Beauty. I just washed a few of them, so you're not going to see all of them here. But I have the whole collection. I have the, 10, whoa, 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 the 105. Um, I have the 102. Like, the whole collection is here. The ones from Angie. I don't fla flashy. I have another 101 brush. Like, I have all of it. No, and I'm not going to get rid of it. So, I'm going to put them back right in where I got them. All right, I have my refer brushes in three different pots, but I'm going to squeeze them all into one. This is... I think I'm going to take this out. I got a bunch of refer. They were so nice. I have to wash these, I know, because they're... One, a few of them are a little dirty, but I, I, do, I wash my brushes by batches, like I said earlier. So I'll wash these in a couple of days. They were so nice to me, sending me the whole collection. And I'm so grateful. So I'm going to separate it by by size. So I'm going to put like the really big ones together. And then the smaller ones together. And that way I get rid of one of the holders. Or use it for something else. These brushes are so, so nice. If you use them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're amazing brushes. And I had to make space for the ones I just washed. So the ones I washed are smaller. So they'll fit in. So now I have them into two holders. Let me take out. I'm gonna take the one in the, out in the back. These are all from Sony G, and I got some Coyudo and Chico Hodo. Not a lot, but I have some. So I got the the base, which is so so pretty. And then these are all my. Um, this is Chico Hodo. No, I'm sorry, Sony G. I got confused. Uh, I have the the set she came out with not too long ago. And I have, these are like, um, I think these are the Kyoto. This light is like bothering me. I'm sorry, guys. I had to like, or put it up. I'm going to put it up. There you go. I got some from Kyoto. I think that's how you pronounce it. These three. And I have, where's my beautiful Shikohoto one? Here it is. I love this brush. I hardly use it because I don't want to. Like, I want to keep it, like, for a very long time. It's so beautiful. And I had other... I had also have... I also have this one from Koyudo for the Lunar Year that came out, the Tiger. It's not cute. So I'm going to put those, the Koyudo one and the Chikahodo, I'm going to put it separate so that way... I have room for the Sony G brushes that I that have, that I'm cleaning. You know, the Niji Pro and the Jumbo Base. I need space for that back here. So that's what I'm going to do. Again, because I like to keep it by brand, by company. So I'm going to put this set back here. No, not this. These two. These two that they were... Come, they came out together and she's coming out with another one real soon so I'm going to have space for that because I, I would like to purchase them and all these are, are hers I have a mini jumbo base and a bunch I have this one repeated as well the um, flat brush what are they called the smooth buffer I have that one repeated I have a few repeated I have the um, the soft concealer brush and this one I have repeated. I just washed it. The jumbo concealer. So yeah, this is my Sony G. Sony G box. I like to keep in the case of Sony G. I like to keep like the same collections together. That way I know how to find them better. It's just the way that I work. But you you organize your brushes whatever way. Like everybody organizes the brushes in their own way. It's just the way that I understood it like the way i understood it the way i um find them better if i had the space what i would do my makeup i would do it by brand like by company the way i have it now it's by by type because i think because of the space that i have it's the easier way to organize it but if i had the space i would do it by brand just that's the way my mind works all right let's go back to what we we're showing so i did the refer let me put the refer back and then we got I, the Shikohodos and the Koyudo ones. I put it here in this really beautiful cup. 
So when they come out now with another collector's item for the new year or whatever, another beautiful brush, then I have a place to put them. I love the ones from Chico Hoyos, the one that had like the green stem. I want to get those soon. <laughs> All right. I got this as a gift from Dior. It was a gift with purchase. It was um, a brush set with the holder, so I kept the holder. I haven't used these brushes yet, so I can't tell you if they're good or bad. But this is what they look like. It's like a, a foundation brush, and then it has two eyeshadow brushes and a powder brush. So that's cute. I like how, let me take this out to show you. It has like the two Ds, the CD on the top. Inside here, I had a the Yano series by Beautylish. I got this in the Lucky Bag, I think. I'm going to put that with a Shukahoto. Because for me, that's like a collector's item. Like, I don't have a lot of those. And these are all my Wayne Goss. I have a couple that I washed today. This is all my Wayne Goss's brushes. I'm not getting rid of those. I told you guys, I'm not going to get rid of anything. <laughs> but why should I? They're all beautiful. And they're so nice, so good. Alright, I have one more cup. And this is all my Sydney Grace. Oh, wait, I have something here, too. This is from... Oh, the Westman Atelier. I'm going to put that with the uh, Chikohoto ones. Actually, it's too big to put in there. And it's too short to put in the other ones. Actually, there's another cup holder. With my short ones, but I don't have space in there. I have this Wayne Goss one. Which... I did not, I cannot put it with the rest of his because this, this is too, this is too short. So I have to put it with my short brushes. Here I have, I think, I know I went out of, out of, um, I was talking about the Cine Grace and then I jumped into another thing. But I'll get to the Cine Grace now. I have these two from Westman Atelier and Wayne Goss and I have from Merit. Two, they're all like short. And then this really short one from Chanel, so cute. <laughs> I have these two from Chanel for my sublimage. It came up with a sublimage foundation from Dermablend. You know, I never reach out to this brush. I might get rid of... I have two of these. So I think I'm just going to pass it on. And then I don't reach out to the Dermablend. This one is very similar. Like, they're both very similar. But the other ones are, have... It's a little bit more... It's like softer. And then I have this other tiny brush, another tiny brush from Chanel. I'm going to keep those. And I have this little one from Natasha Denona. I think they came out with like that green, like little green Metropolis palette, I think. And then I'll put these three in there too. I'm going to keep it for a while because I think it's going to be good for like the concealer. But then the other brushes don't fit, so... This is a dilemma. The Wayne Goss one, I'm going to try to put it in with the other ones because it is thinner. It is shorter, but it is thicker here, so when it falls in, this part stays out. So I'm going to put it with the other ones, and then that way I could um, fit in the Sublime Lash Foundation brush. We're good. So then my Sonia G. Oh, I have a uh, BK Beauty stuck in here. I don't know how that got in. And I have another Sony G. I have a few of these. These are the Blender Blender Pros. I don't know how that fell in there. So the BK Beauty, I'm going to put the BK Beauty. Oh, this is the set. The That set, the Travel Essentials. Or what is it called? The Essentials, right? That's part of that set. So that's why it's here. I guess that's why it's here because it's newer. I don't know. And then these are all, uh, this is the one I just got from Rare Beauty. And these are all my Cine Grace, which are really nice. These are synthetic and really, really nice. And they're so beautiful. All right, that's my brush collection. What do you guys think? It's not as big as many of other people do. I know people have like a closet full and a whole cabinet full of, um, uh, brushes which is so beautiful it's so nice but i don't have the space and i think with what i have now is pretty good and i just realized i had another cup and that's it that's the last cup these are random brushes this is from not random like random like where they're from but random as like they don't fit in with the other ones these are got from bk from beautylish the units 
set. I forgot I had these. I'm gonna put this with a Sydney Grace because I have space, and I don't know because I have space. I have that whole set. These are really, really nice, really soft. I'm not sure they're synthetic or not. I think they're. I'm not sure, but they're really, really soft, and I really do enjoy it. The color is beautiful. That orange is so gorgeous. I'm gonna put that with the Sydney Grace. I have a couple of refers here. I don't know how I got there. One the fan brush, so I'm gonna put it with my refer. Refer. I got this from Shantikai, Buff and Blur. This is from Chikahodo. So I'm gonna put that with my Chikahodos. This is for your eyebrows. And I have another one. And then I got two from another one from Shantikai. This is the foundation and mask. So I'm going to put this with... Right now the only space I have is the one from where my Chanel is, a short one. So I'm going to put those there. I have space there now. And this one from Rare Beauty since it's synthetic. I'm going to put it with my Sydney Grace and my units. And the other two that I wanted to declutter and they're really they're, they're nice. But again, I don't reach out to them. And I'm going to pass it on to a friend that... We'll, we'll love these. These are from LYS. They're really fluffy and soft. I believe they're synthetic. LYS. They're really pretty. And they have like a, a triangle shape. At least here they have a triangle shape. So I'm going to pa pass these two along and these two. And now I have... It's, this is a brush holder that I got in an Ipsy or something. And I kept it just for that. But I'm going to keep it for now because... I might need it in the future. Who knows? If I get more brushes, I'm going to need more space. So I'm going to close this. Close this baby up and save and put it aside. There you go. Alright, so I decluttered four brushes, but I organized my brushes and I washed my brushes. So I think it's a productive day. And I think I'm going to... I don't know if I have time to declutter more. Should we declutter more? I'm going to have more time for the mascara. It's going to be too, too long. So I'm going to do another video with the mascaras. And another video for the lip glosses and the lip pencils. And another video for the lipstick. So I have three more decluttered videos to do for you guys. Fun. Very fun. So this is all for today's vlog. I hope you liked it. You enjoyed it. You liked this time spent with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Remember, this is the last day of the giveaways. The question that I had, I remember, so I'm going to say it now. My question is, if you guys enjoyed this vlog summer, or if you enjoyed it so far, we have a few more days left, like more than half a month left, and I have a lot of things planned for you guys this month. I have a trip, too, that I want to share with you, so I'm really excited, and I want to know if you guys liked it so far. What do you guys think so far? And because it all depends if you guys liked it. I think I've received positive comments and, and all that. It all depends if I'm going to do it again next year. So I Or more vlogs. I could do more vlogs. Just regular vlogs during the year. So let me know if that's something that you guys liked. If you like this one so far. If you want me to do something different. Or incorporate something else. Let me know. And I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to keep on vlogging for the rest of the month. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And you join me every day till the end of the year. I'm going to try to make it to the 31st. I am really trying. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here with me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.